When strength Jesuits Michael Wiley rushed in for this first quarter touchdown, the Crusaders had already jumped to a 21-0 lead over Pearland in a battle of unbeatens. But it was Pearland that battled back big time for an ultimate 57-42 victory. We're down 21-0 and our kids um, thought they responded well. Uh, we handled that adversity, that experience. We had been there. We understood what it took to, to get back on top and uh, everyone held their poise and composure. Poised and composed to say the least. By halftime, the Oilers had a race to 21 point deficit to tie the game at 28. We're a bunch of brothers and we, we all fight together. So when we're down like that, we have that's when we really need to be the closest. And we all fought and we all knew that we're never out of this game no matter what happens. Despite a lightning delay and then driving rainstorm, there was no slowing down Pearland in the second half, especially running back Jalen Benefield, who rushed for an amazing 288 yards and three touchdowns on the ninth. It was very special, but I couldn't do it with anybody else but my team. Um, O-line, my quarterback, give, making the right reads. I, I just got to say thank you to them guys first. And I honestly didn't even keep track with the stats. It just kind of happened. Afterwards, I kind of caught myself by surprise. What an unbelievable athlete. Uh, he's just you know, on and off the field. Just a tremendous person uh, and an unbelievable football player. Every time uh, when he's in the game, great things can happen. And uh, he's electrifying, and it, and it showed the other night. With the win, Pearland returned to practice this week with a 7-0 and record on the season. A season also highlighted by the play of quarterback J.D. Head, a junior transfer from Oklahoma who's made a smooth transition to the bright lights of Texas high school football. I'm blessed to be in this position, obviously. Uh, great athletes all around me, great line, great defense, great coaches. It's, it's an awesome opportunity, I'm so thankful. He's doing a great job of, of dispersing the ball where it needs to go and executing the offense. Uh, we talk about taking care of the football around here and, and I think that's important in winning ball games and he's doing a great job of making great decisions. Uh, whether it be handing off to Jalen or, or, or pushing around to different receivers. And Head isn't the only first comer to the Pearland football program. So is first year head coach Ricky Tullis. Tullis, who guided George Ranch to a Class 5A state championship, is certainly on track to maintaining the winning tradition at Pearland. What a great honor. Uh, I'm very, very blessed to take over a great program that, that Coach Heath started. and. Uh, and a big honor and we want to keep it at a high level and continue to build on it and, but it starts with our kids I mean they uh, they're unbelievable we got a lot of three-year starters and uh, they're the heart and soul of this program this foundation and we are here on campus at Pearline High School along with the Oilers I'm joined by Kurt Hoffey of Allegiance Bank Kurt Coach Tullis, congratulations on an undefeated season and another great win. I'd like to present you the Allegiance Bank Team of the Week. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah!